Hello, this is Gary Oakes, and I'm just going to give a quick overview for the Pinnacle theme for WordPress. This is the free version, and I must admit, I think it's a really versatile theme to, to use. So you have a top menu bar with a menu in there. We have a logo. We have a, a primary menu bar, as you can see here. In the background, I have a slider. This slider is actually showing you some images. Three top widget areas. These can be anything you like. You can have your own images. We have a wide front page, home page. The images have a light box effect. And if I scroll down, we have a video. Just playing that so you can see how it works. And in this case, I have two blog post excerpts towards the bottom. And right at the bottom, I have this call to action bar. In the footer area, there are four widget areas, including a social media widget. Towards the bottom, we have a place to put your company logo and a footer menu bar. If I scroll up to the top now, go back to the menus. Let's have a look what a typical page might look like. On this particular case, I'm showing the page to have a right-hand sidebar and some images within this. But again, this could be anything that you want, but I'm just demonstrating in terms of a right-hand sidebar. In terms of the blog, again, I have a right-hand sidebar images and excerpts for two blog posts. These are just examples. Click on the image and we go straight into the full post. So it's a fairly lengthy post. So that basically covers the some of the fundamentals of what this Pinnacle theme will do. Let's go behind the scenes now into the dashboard and look at how you can customize the theme and some of the options that we have to be able to achieve this. So if you go to Appearance and then Customize, it will take us to the place where we can actually customize the theme. And we have a the right-hand pane here. You can actually see any changes that you actually make, which is excellent. So we start with the site header. There are a number of functions you can change here. The next one is the, the site logo. Logo options again, a number, there's a few options here which will help you with the logo. So, page title, you can either have this on or off. And I was just showing you here, so there's resources, so there it's actually now on. So, you can actually see the changes you make. If we go to footer layout, there's, there's a number of how many widgets you'd like to see at the bottom, two to four you can have here. Next is the top bar settings. There are a number here. So as it's showing, it's, there's a lot you can actually do with this particular theme. Home slider. There are minimal functionality here, but it does advise you to upload the toolkit plugin, which I really recommend you to do, because it gives you more functionality. And we'll explain a bit more about this later on. So what's next? So we've got the home slider, we've got the home layout. A few functionalities here that you can play around with. The portfolio options, again, just have a look at those. Next up are the blog options. There are a few things here that you can switch on and off. And again, you can really take, this is really tailored for blogs. You can, as you can see, there's a number of things you can do that's gonna really help with blogs. So it's just been designed with blogs in mind. Next up is some basic styling. And it is pretty basic, shown here. Typography, add, it, add in the plugin, the toolkit plugin. Menu settings, much the same, add the toolkit plugin. And we'll come on to these a bit later. Miscellaneous settings, a number of settings here you can have a look at. It's, Custom CSS, this is really useful, so you can add CSS coding here, again, to really tailor your site. Site identity, a couple of options here to have a look at. Menus, there are three menus to choose from. There's the primary menu, the top menu, and the footer menu. And these are really useful for any WordPress theme. If we then go to widget areas, they talk about the four widget areas that you can have in your footer. If, if four is what if you have chosen, I have in this particular case. You have the static front page. This is standard functionality. And that's it from the customization point of view. 
Now let's have a look at what you see when you actually add the, the, the toolkit plugin. This is what you see. If you go to the now theme options, you'll be now confronted with a lot more menus and this can really help tailor your site. So site header, similar to as before. Logo options, similar as before. Page title, we've seen that one. We've had a play with that as before. Footer layout, similar as before. But now if we go to the top bar settings and the home slider. So if we go to the home slider, now you have the options to add in your pictures for your slider and how long you'd like them to, to play for and how you'd like them to work. So this is more functionality that was shown in under the customizing drop down. So this is a very useful one to have. Home mobile slider, some opportunities to do things there. Home layout. This particular one has more op options to have. Now, as you may recall, I have some header widgets. These are sort of widget areas underneath this slider, and this is where you can actually update and, and how, this, how this needs to look. You can also arrange how you would like the home page to look. So I've got something where those icon menus are. We've got a page content, latest blog post, and a call to action. So you can tailor your home page how you would like it to look. And you do all that through this menu here. Really useful. The next one being the, you've got some shop headings, uh, settings and you've got product settings and portfolio options. There's some options here if you upload the WooCommerce plugin, which would be really useful if you are wanting that. You've got page options and a lot of these now are very much the same as what they were when we did the customization. Advanced styling. The one that has a bit more when we come on to it is the topography. This actually allows you to tailor your header fonts, which you couldn't do before underneath the customization drop down. So again, you can change the styling of your fonts. Menu settings, no different to what we had before, as is the miss settings, miscellaneous. The last two, we have the customization of CSS. And the final one, import export. So you have the opportunity to now to export and save all the settings you have done for this theme, which is really useful if you lose it in any way, you can then upload it again. And I don't see this on any other themes that I've come across, a really useful function. There is a pro version for this Pinnacle theme. If I whip across to have a look at what this looks like now. It is $45 or clearly has a, enough functionality but to be honest the free version has enough functionality in my view to do what you need to do so hopefully you found this tutorial useful and i will see you on the next one bye for now